Olivier in Clearwater, Florida writes and he says, Paul, thank you for your very informative videos. Olivier, you are most welcome. I do hope you're a subscriber. I've been encouraging people recently to please hit the subscribe button. It helps us uh, make sure that you get all the information and you don't miss any of these great questions. Okay? So thank you for subscribing. Uh, my question is about DSD over PCM. When I see the specs of a DAC, I often see that native DSD specs and DOP DSD, and usually the native DSD is doubled or more compared to the DOP. And I'm wondering if DOP process reduces in half the DSD resolution, or DOP cannot be as high as native DSD. Can you explain? Sure. Um, no. DOP, which stands for DSD over PCM, is not changing the resolution at all. But it kind of seems like it is. So here, here, here's what's happening. So DOP is a way to trick a computer, like a Windows or a Mac computer, into handling DSD, which they do not do natively. DSD is not something that you can just start putting into a computer and have it work. And there's a number of reasons for that. For one thing, DSD is a continual stream. It's pulse density modulation. It's just a stream of one bit that, uh, it, that they're either on or off. And if they cluster close together, it's a bigger signal. If they cluster, if, they have, if they're less clustered and they go farther apart, um, then you have a lower signal. And it's much more closer to analog, which is one of the reasons at Octave Records, we, we only use DSD. We record everything in DSD. Everything is, uh, I mean, the whole bit. And the final outcome is DSD, even though we do convert it to PCM. And here, here's something kind of interesting as I, as I, ramble, as I ramble on. Um, if you record in PCM and convert to DSD, it does not sound as good as the opposite. If you record in DSD, convert to PCM, and then back again, that's not bad. You maintain the quality of the recording. Most of them. It's better to stay all DSD. But if you start out with PCM and then try and convert it to DSD, you lose something. There's something lost, which is the whole other thing we can talk about. But all right. So because of that, computers can't really deal with it. Computers need what's called headers uh, and words. They, they, they like to have uh, specific um, little bits of information at the beginning of each chunk of data that tell the computer what it is and what it's doing and what it should do, where it should go, all that kind of good stuff. And DSD doesn't have that. So what we do is we take a 24-bit long PCM word and we have, I think it's an 8-bit header. That's the part I was telling you about that tells the computer where to go and all this stuff. <clears throat> that, that remains PCM. It tells its instructions. Those are read and then thrown out because we don't care about it. And the balance of that, the what is it, 16 bits, <clears throat> is actually DSD. It, it's, so we just take a chunk of DSD and we attach this header to it. And the computer says, aha, I don't know. Bits are bits, right? I don't know. So as far as I'm concerned, it's DSD. And we then, when we get it, we throw away the header, we recombine all the DSD bits, and we have pure DSD. And this can happen at any DSD sample rate. You could have 4x DOP. You could have 2x DOP. Typically, we don't see anything higher, uh, and, and mostly only see 1x DSD in, in DOP. But there's no technical reason why not. So hope that answers your question. It's a good one. Thanks, and thanks for subscribing. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.